move now to new developments in a story we first brought you last night. A man is in custody tonight after he was caught on video punching a 23-year-old woman in what's being called a racially motivated attack. It happened in Akron's Highland Square neighborhood early Sunday morning. Our Brandon Simmons joins us live with more information on the man involved and the additional charges he could be facing. Brandon? Yeah, hi, Betsy. Yeah, police called this incident outrageous and disgusting. 26-year-old Andrew Walls punching at least two women in the face, calling one of them a racial slur. And that whole incident was caught on video with many witnesses standing nearby. I want to warn you that this video can be disturbing to some people who view it. This incident happened just after midnight early Sunday. Walls can be heard in the video yelling racial slurs and getting into an altercation with some men. When Cameron Morgan walked over to try to get him to stop, he called her derogatory names before punching her in the face. Now, we also learned that Walls is now facing a second assault charge for punching a second woman right after hitting Morgan. That's the punch that happens just out of frame. Now, Morgan says she suffered a busted lip and a concussion, and she's thankful for those who stepped in to help her and police today say they're leaving no stone unturned on this case thank god like my friends there's so many loving and supporting like supportive people in highland square like they everybody who was watching had my back to the fullest we reached out to the fbi um, and they're going to have a representative that we're going to share information with to see if this reaches something to a federal level we're pursuing all avenues now, Walls is already facing two assault charges and another charge for possessing a weapon while intoxicated, but police say their investigation is ongoing and additional charges could come later, including federal hate crime charges, but that's yet to be determined. Now, there have also been reports that Walls is connected to the far-right national group known as the Proud Boys. Of course, police talked about it today but said they haven't been able to confirm that connection. That's something they're still investigating. I do know that now that he's in custody, they say he will be questioned, booked into jail, and that's something they'll look into and also ask him more questions about what happened last night. Betsy? Well, this video went viral over the weekend, so we know there's a lot of eyeballs that will be following this along with us. All right. Thanks so much, Brandon.